<clears throat> hey guys, welcome to a new video. This is a video about how to service and replace a chaff and an Edge 600 LA 100 P660 hover mixers. We're replacing the chaff on this unit. I'm not so sure if I'm gonna replace it or not, but the chaff is no longer in good shape. The oil seal also is going to be replaced. Someone asked how to service or replace the chaff on an H600. So we're gonna be showing you the process on which this planetary has all been already been cleaned up, washed with gasoline. And now we're gonna start the process of removing the, this cap, the ring, the retaining ring, the gear, and the shaft. I always remove this oil pump so it prevents any damage to it as this is an expensive piece. So two screws hold this planetary oil pump. We'll show you how to remove it. Okay guys, this is the oil pump. Like I said, I remove, you don't have to remove all four screws. Uh, the only two that you get loose or removed is this one and this one in the back. You leave these two alone. This is bolted to this base. These are bolted to the planetary. So these corners, these two in the corner are the ones that you remove from the planetary through this hole. You get a flat screwdriver through. That's how you do it. Remove the cap. Most of the time, this is this is going to be replaced. Gear. Sometimes you need a, an extractor, and sometimes it will come out by itself very easily. And our retainer ring. And this is the planetary. So I have a table here that allows me to sit flat the planetary. This table has a hole, so this is where the magic, the magic happens. I use a piece of bar. Try to do in the center, in the center, so you don't damage the other um, these ends of your planetary. You need to be in the center with. Anything that you can find around and just tap it out. That's it. Another tool that you need. And this to get it out. There's no other way to get it out, at least that I know. Sometimes they will come out easily, sometimes they won't. They will need a pretty good. Heat on it to get it out. So we'll show the chaff once it's out as I'm gonna get it out right now. But this is the basics. Get it in the center and get your hammer and start getting it out. Very simple. So here it is. It only took me like 10 seconds to get it out. A couple hits and it came out. Again, sometimes it will come out with this bearing attached to the shaft. Sometimes the bearing will stay in the planetary and the seal also will stay there. And if you're gonna reuse the bearing, basically, you know, just clean it over, um, find a way to cut this seal, and it will be the same process. You get your hammer, you get a bar or something to hit it out, tap it out. You can also get it out with a really long bearing extractor. But since to me it's much easier to get it out with my tools. If, you, if you're gonna reuse this shaft, 
you find a piece of two by four, don't put it upside down in the cement. Get a piece of wood and find a helper that can hold for you the chaff while you tap it out with one of these tools and it will come out. Or you can use a very instructor. So that's how I do it. All right, we are ready to do the installation. In this case, I didn't have to remove this cap as there was no major oil leaking. Sometimes the seal on this cap breaks, the O-ring breaks, and then oil goes through this cap and start filling in the bottom to the point that the oil seal is no longer able to hold any excess of oil and that's when you have to remove this cap clean it up really good with gasoline and replace the o-ring put gasket maker on it oil resistant uh, the cap that's the part number for the cap the o-ring the oil seal at the bottom on which I'm gonna use an aftermarket this is an original piece an original seal but to save the customer money I'm gonna be using an aftermarket one top bearing it's a 6306 uh, bottom bearing is a 6207 and we're ready to assemble. So again, I didn't replace the O-ring on it because there is no need to replace it. You can, if you want to, you can replace and put new oil seal, I mean gas uh, O-ring, but I'm trying to save the customer money, so we're not gonna be re replacing the O-ring on it or opening this area. So I'm about to do the installation, we'll show you in a minute the final process. So installing the bottle bearing, bottom, this is the easiest way I have found to do it. Let's get the bearing in there, and uh, heat it up. Bearing is in, get the oil, oil seal. And you're gonna heat it with the rubber mallet, and you get the idea. So I'm gonna stop the video here. Well, maybe it will let me do it. And that's it. And you either heat it against the floor or assemble a planetary shaft. Turn it over. We do the final installation of the gear and this job will be done. As easy as 20 minutes all together. Okay guys, I'm done with this planetary. This is the final result. It's already assembled, this is a new cap. It's important for you to wipe it off, even though it's new, wipe off the, the cap because it has oil residue. When it gets to you, even though it's new, they do have oil residue. So clean it up good, so you guys can make it good hold up to do it really good so this is what I use ultra black, black gasket maker and that's it it's very simple this is the same process for 
H600, LA100, D660. Basically, that's what you have to do to replace the chaff. Remember that MAO2 B1401s are slightly different in the process, but it's almost the same. Now, a new chaff. Is ready. Also, P660 planetary is different. The bearings are uh, one of the bearings is slightly larger or bigger, so the oil seal also changes on P660. Thank you for watching. This video was made by a request of a viewer that wanted to see the process on how to get their chaff out. In this case, I needed to replace the chaff on this unit and I took advantage and made this video for that viewer. So, hope you, you like this video. Hope it's helpful. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.